All right, folks, this is Alan here at the Nashville Rockin' Pod 3 again. I have got David Ellison and Tom Hazart here. Correct. How are you fellas doing? Great. What do you Good. think of this event so far? It's good, man. It's noisy. It feels like we're at a rodeo. <laughs> good. It's been a great time. We've been doing this since 9 a.m. At a rodeo. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> all right. Now, you guys are here. Uh, you guys worked on a book called More Life with Death. Would you guys we did. talk about that? Sure. Um, you know, it started last year. We wrote it. It, it. My experience with books, it takes almost three years to write them and get them to market. And we literally did this one within a year, which was pretty remarkable. From, from the, the idea to do it to yeah. in store. Yeah. We, the idea came up. I started writing immediately. Tom pretty much coached and kind of outlined the story, what we needed written in it. Then he started writing his contributions. He interviewed, did most of the interviews with um, the contributors that uh, were kind enough to put their comments in. People yeah. like K.K. Downing from Judas Priest, Mark Tremonti, Chris Adler, people like that. Dan Donegan from Disturbed, yeah, Brian it was good. Slagle. Yeah. And that really flushed a really cool story out. So um, kind of back to the origins of me in Minnesota, moving to L.A., meeting Dave, starting Megadeth. Recent years, kind of since 2002 until modern day, a uh, period when Megadeth was disbanded and some lessons learned during that period. And then even coming back to Megadeth, uh, new businesses and industries that Tom and I have started with the label and coffee and and um, you know so kind of a, a pretty pretty encompassing life story actually. We'll talk about the label and the coffee. Well, um, well we got a couple labels. Obviously, we started out with the MP Label Group, which we, you know, when I first met David, um, and this is all kind of the book now and and documented for posterity. But I was producing and directing special features for Shout Factory for Scream Factory. And we were doing, uh, they let me do a, a, a documentary about the Shocker soundtrack. So it came out on the Blu-ray re-release that came out three, four years ago. And uh, so I interviewed Dave for that. And, and you know, he told me, hey, I'm managing this band, Dalskin. I've been talking about doing a label through Megaforce. So it, an EMP was kind of born. We built this kind of a portal to put out the Dalskin record, which is the only thing we did through Megaforce. And after that, we went and got our deal with E1, and we signed Green Death and Horizon Chaos, who were kind of the first three bands on the label, and then it turned into what it is, man. We just built and did our deals with E1 and SPV and the other companies that we were partnered with, and ended up signing Doyle and Mark Slaughter and Ron Keel and Last Crack and Flip and, you know, Archer Nation and then and, and, and a million bands put out a million amazing autographs, and we, Madam X, and we put out some really, and again, it's really just kind of been my friends, Dave's friends, things we like, things we want to put out things we want to do I mean I don't really care if it's gonna sell I just go hey I want to put that out I want to put out you know the new Madam X record I want to put out and, and Dave's been great about it. you know I mean honestly you know we signed sword you know a, a lot of 98% of the A&R decisions the day-to-day -day decisions you know are me making them so I kind of just get to sign what I want and put out what I want and David loves it and usually is almost is always you know, supportive and gets behind it and it's great the great thing about it is you know we have a mouthpiece like David who's out doing interviews every day and talks about the label and talks about the bands and you really can't buy that you know between him doing interviews and me doing interviews and you know our social media presence which is like two million people you know what I mean it's really giving us a great conduit to help some bands put out their records and, and do it right in an era when most labels are some guy in a basement putting shit on iTunes, and we don't do that. You know, we put records into stores and, and, and really do things, you know, like a real label as much as you can in 2019, you know? Right. right. What? Do you want to talk a little bit about the coffee? Sure. Do you have any? <laughs> I can use some coffee right now. There's, there's a damn Starbucks <laughs> around the corner, and I hate Starbucks, and I've had two cups of it today. Oh, you yeah. love Starbucks. Every every, every 10 minutes, David's like, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Well, Starbucks is handy, you know, and I'm not a Dunkin' Donuts guy, and I think that right there is funny, because there's a very divided line, or you're either a Dunkin' Donuts person, or you're a Starbucks person. You're a Dunkin', I'm the Dunkin Donuts Well, no wonder guy. you hate there's a Starbucks. <laughs> <coughs> but, you know, well, really... My, my wife likes both Dunkin' really? and Starbucks. Really? Yeah. Well, you married the right girl, so then. she's the exception. I think, you know, with coffee, look, first of all, I, I, I drink 
drink it every day. I love it. I, I like good coffee. I travel the world. I get to experience a lot of great coffee. And I think as part of branding and marketing, which is not really how we thought about the coffee, um, it was just something I like, just like I like music, you know. But we, you know, I called Tom. Um, we set up Roast in Peace as our flagship roast, still is. And uh, meanwhile, we've expanded it um, to, you know, light, medium, and dark roasts. Um, we do a bunch of signature roasts for a lot of artists. Um, and that's that's kind of become our specialty, is we are, we are a rock and roll coffee company. You know, we've been to a lot of the big music festivals across the country, across the world. In fact, this weekend at Budstock, we have a partner over in uh, the UK called The Motley Brew. They're a tea company. And they, because uh, the British drink tea, um, they were kind enough to bring our coffee in. And so they go around to the Stone Death Festival, Budstock, a lot of the big rock and metal festivals, and they bring Ellison Coffee in for the fans there. And, and so we bring it with us on tour. Fans like it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's fun to drink. It's fun to sign. And it's fun to talk about. I, I could never open this coffee because David signed it. <laughs> well, I signed the bag so you can drink the coffee and still keep the bag, you know. <laughs> well, you know, if, if you're a completist, you buy two cups. Right. Bags. Yeah, that's it. One, you know? one to drink and one, one, to, one, one to put to, on and, the and shelf. And it's okay. so funny, too, because the coffee, I mean, it really is. I mean, so many people buy it just as memorabilia. They want to get it signed. i take it on, put it on a shelf. You can tell the people, because they do, they'll buy two bags, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys have a solo project called Sleeping Giants. Right. And uh, Tom sings on this. Yes. I do. Well, David, it's actually technically called Allison. But uh, so w with the book, me and David were in Tampa last year, and we were like, let's go in the studio. We have a studio in Tampa called Master Sound. We were like, let's go in the studio and just write a song. We collaborated on all these things, and never really musically, for whatever reason. So we went in the studio, we wrote the song Vultures, which kind of became the first single. Or actually, Max Norman just remixed it, and that version is coming out, and it's fucking awesome. But so we wrote Vultures in like 10 minutes. We went in the studio. Dave had the riff. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Dave's a great guitar player. Like people know him as a bass player. He's a great guitar player. Wrote a lot of the riffs on So Far So Good So What, and a lot of you know, killer. You know, so that's kind of the riffs Dave writes. Are these really punky So Far So Good So What Ramonesy riff? So we wrote Vultures in like 20 minutes. Recorded it that day, and then. He had all these other instrumental songs, Sleeping Giants and Hammer. He was like, here, write some shit for these. I'm like, all right. So I kind of went in the studio, chopped them up, sort of Frankenstein them, cut some, trimmed some fat, put them back together so I could write over them effectively. Got DMC, you know, from Run DMC to sing on Sleeping Giants with me. We got Eric AK to, you know, do Hammer with me. And we got Mark Tremonti and Chris Poland to play on it. Um, a bunch of the guys from Sacred Reich. Dave McLean. So, yeah, so we kind of took those songs. And, and then David had all these, we're just, we're just doing an EP. And I'm like, dude, don't you have like a bunch of old demos and shit laying around? He's like, yeah. I have this killer songwriting demo with John Bush from like 1993. He had a bunch of songs with David Glenn Isley from Jeffrey and House of Lords. So we just kind of it turned into this cool compilation album of, of, of stuff David did outside of Megadeth. But as, uh, you know, but as a, uh, we did it as kind of a soundtrack companion album to the book. You know, as it came out, it debuted on like 13 Billboard charts last week. You know, the week it came out, the book came out. So it's been really great, man. It's been really exciting to kind of show this different stuff that David does outside of just being the bass player in Megadeth, you know? Right on. Well, gentlemen, I'm glad you guys took a few minutes out of your time to come and say hi and do this interview. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the road again. Thank you, and these are delightful. Those are delightful. You can thank my wife for those. Well, they probably go wife. well with coffee, those right there. Yes, they would. They probably go well with Dunkin' thank Donuts you very coffee. Much. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you.